Hi, I'm Pox. I'm Couch Guy. And you're watching the Two Smart Guys show. It's a great show tonight. We're, uh, I'm really excited for tonight's show. We, uh, we're here every week and we do hacks and mods on all kinds of electronic devices, iPhones, PSPs, Apple TVs, and the our, Western Digital. Our new favorite, TV. well, my favorite toy, <laughs> the uh, Western Digital TV box, the WDTV. And this is the WDTV Live Plus. So this is their newest box. They've had two other big boxes like this, I think. They've had a few boxes. This is the new one that has Netflix on it. Right. So, and up until now, hasn't been hacked. Well, up until a week ago when it came out. We'll say that. So, so we're going to go over this brand new hack by B-Rad. B-Rad did this hack. B-Rad's a, a, if you do any sort of search for a hack on this device, you will run into B-Rad. Um, it is... Uh, Something that he's done a lot of great hacks on the, the first one. The, the things that make this one different from the other ones. Um, the first one didn't have uh, network support. Um, and the first one didn't have, um, well, because it didn't have network support, it didn't have uh, composite, no, component video. It had composite video on the side and HDMI. Um, this one has composite and component. Um, they both had optical. Um, this one, uh, they had the, the live, Western Digital Live come out, and that had the network capability. And what we see on the back is the very similar the same thing with composite component, uh, HDMI. But the new one, the Live Plus, has Netflix. So you can log in and watch your Netflix um, straight from this box. So, which is why, you know. Um, so, so, what are the things that these, these normally can do? What are these um, traditionally, um, we have all your media that's on hard drive. So, um, your backed up um, files from your movies or whatnot. Um, can, you can view anything that's on the hard drive. Um, the network support boxes have the ability to stream it from the network. So, if you've got another server like we do um, in our houses, we've got our networks built up. I can now watch it from any you know TV in the house that way. Um, the obviously the Netflix is the new thing for everything. So of course you you know with the internet connection and everything on the network, you can watch Netflix. Oh yeah, and, uh, like uh, YouTube videos. YouTube videos are on there. Uh, I believe it does even have um, audio support, so you can listen to music from it. Um, and it has like Pandora, um, Live 365. You know, so this box particularly is designed to um, play your media. Now, it's on the same, I, I would say, it's not the same as like a video aggregate like um, Boxy, where it's actually going out and trying to find shows for you. It's more along the lines of, hi, I have media, I'd like to play it on my TV, I'm not using my laptop. Okay, so what can our hack do? Now, what, this what, hack... What, what improvements does it have on this This hack device? opens up... Um, a couple of different, uh, it opens up a ton of stuff. Uh, everything from SSH use, um, you know, um, the big things in there, you know, you got our torrent, um, we've got um, YouTube HD, Telnet server, um, what else is in there? There's a whole sheet of this stuff, um, all of which are in um, the README file of this hack. Um, it opens it up. A it, lot. It, it cracks up. Yeah, yeah, there's tons of stuff. This thing really turns into like a mini computer in this point instead of just a file player. Um, what else is there? Did you say you, could hook, you can hook up a, a DVD drive? You can. It? Before you couldn't hook up a, a DVD drive like an external computer drive. You can do that now. Uh, I haven't had a chance to test it with this yet because. Oh, the HD support for YouTube? So HD, HD YouTube. Yeah. We are going to do this hack live. Yipes. It's, which always is nervous <laughs> for us because, you know, we haven't done it. So. Um, but I'm, I'm confident. Now, a couple of things on this. Um, this hack right now for the Live Plus is currently, you can find out more information at BRAD's website, um, www.b-rad.cc. This particular hack, he's asking for a donation. Um, uh, he's put a lot of time into these hacks. He's put a lot of effort into them. And he's, now he's, he's been giving away the hacks for the older devices, Everything right? else so, has been for free. Yeah, so if you got one of the older Western Digital TVs, those ones are free. Absolutely. This new one, um, a whole different chip, a whole different thing, and he's basically saying, hey, I've spent money, I've spent time, I need a donation. I ponied up the donation for it, so we have the hack. If you want this hack right now, 
I'm sure at some point this hack will become free. Um, everything else has, and I think he's inclined to you know make this one so too. But everybody's got to pay the bills. Everybody's got to pay. We the even got to pay the bills. So um, <laughs> this particular hack, if you want it right now, you pay. You know, I think you, he's just asking for ten bucks, and you can have the hack. Um, just go to the site, look for the Live Plus, and you're going to see all the information, donation, how it works, what things is opening up. So we paid for the hack um, gladly to get the access to this stuff. Um, so we followed the directions, put the files onto this thumb drive, and we're going to plug it in. Um, do we want to go through this first and see what kind of stuff it can do out of the box? Just to oh, show, or do we want to? Sure. Um, so let me just show you. The out of the box, this is what the machine looks like. You just have your basic scrolling menu with... Um, you know, uh, internet media, which is really, I think, just mostly YouTube and whatnot. Your video, um, network shares, YouTube, Netflix, media servers. We're going to go off the network, and we're going to go off my laptop um, to a share that I've created off my laptop. And just to show you, if you have regular plain Jane files, it... We'll play them, um, AVIs, M4Vs, all sorts of things right off the right off the file. The other one, if you have ISOs, which is my favorite way of dealing with this right now, is I've my son has absolutely decimated his and our DVD collection, so I've started backing everything up on an ISO. So, which to me is fantastic until I found out I could play it, which just made me really excited because now. I can play my ISOs. I think I rebooted the machine, which is why it's forgetting all my presets. Um, it'll play my ISOs exactly as a DVD. So I can go through all this stuff and um, play my ISOs. And it gives you the menus. It and gives everything. me the menus. It you gives can, me all the special features. This yeah, is so my, you can select your audio tracks and everything. Which was my big beef before when I was like trying to, you know, I was making them into files and I was like, I lose all my special features. You know, so, you know, in that way, I'm loving it. Okay, um, YouTube videos, Netflix—it's exciting. So, but this is right out of the box. We haven't even cracked this thing open yet. Right, right. So it's a pretty cool device. So, on, on the get-go, we're gonna put. Uh, I've just got the files for the hack on a USB. We're gonna plug it in. I'm gonna reboot the machine. Okay. okay? We're just gonna. Do, I'm gonna do a basic off and unplug because off is never really off anymore. Till you pull the power out. Power's back on. Let's we'll, see what see we get. If, we'll see if it let's, does it on startup or if I have to go into. A, I think I have to go in the menu to do it, but we'll see what happens. Whee! All right, so I've rebooted the machine um, based on having read all the other um, versions of this hack. The, the bin file and the version file, the two files that have to be on there. Um, so that's what I put on there this time. Um, not the readme, not the options, not the mount file. Oh, and what was the format of it that it had to be? Uh, it had to be a FAT32 file, which is, you know, we'll see. And I actually recommend that you use a HP tool if you're formatting it in Windows. But if you're formatting Linux, you're cool, right? Yeah, you just make, <laughs> you just make, uh, make file system. And it actually has instructions inside of the, the readme file on, if you, in case you're a Linux and you don't know how to make the file system. Um, it's just a VFAT. So I'm hoping... Autoplay contact could not be accessed. Thank you. New firmware found. Yay! Okay, <laughs> ready? All right, let's do this thing. Mark, set, go. See? All right, so let me tell you what. Before I hit this go button, I'm going to tell you what I made a mistake. That, um, when you, so that you don't make the same thing. When you are putting the file system that you get from this hack onto the fl flash drive, the only two files that are allowed inside the on the drive, which are not mentioned in this README file, but have been mentioned in other README files, are the .bin file and the .vert, the ER version file. Okay, so and you notice I've, I've updated my version file to version 22, um, which um, is the recommended if in case you have trouble, where to push it all the way to, um, and then we say yes, we want to upgrade. Let's do it. Go, damn it! Rebooting. And while this goes on, all we should talk about Zazzle. Because Zazzle. Zazzle has been awesome. Um, I know that my uh, some of my favorite um, fun and colorful T-shirts are on Zazzle. I know I can make my own stuff on Zazzle. 
and I know that with the code two smart guys, numeral two smart guys oh one, you can now get what is it? Orders of fifty bucks or more, ten percent off. Yeah, ten percent. It's fantastic. We like Zazzle. Um, oh, and then um, the contest is over. Go vote now at our website, twosmartguys.com, on some T-shirts that viewers like you have made. Which uh, were really cool. We liked them. And I'm and gonna wear them to Blog World, Blog World, New Media Expo World thing. Which? <laughs> but I need everybody to go there and vote. So I'll know which one I should pick. So when this is all over with, what we're trying to achieve is we're cracking open some of the, the features inside of the Western Digital Pl Live Plus box. Um, we, uh, on the reboot, we'll see what happens. We'll come back to one. Oh, there it goes. Updating firmware. We need to see this. This is awesome. <laughs> um, this is a new background. We've never seen this before. Ooh, it's like um, wooden. Neat. It's shiny. <laughs> Um, this, there's an entire, like, it's like this big list of things that opens up. Did it say in the readme file how long this is going to take? Uh, it didn't, <laughs> which is why I'm talking over it, because I'm anticipating I, with something that's like flashing It's like zero percent. Well, if it's, nothing else, we'll pause and come back. Oh, oh there, there it goes. goes. It kicks in. All right. Um, <laughs> there's an entire list in the readme file, and I could just go through this list if you really wanted me to, but, um... It opens up uh, rTorrent, uh, UMSP plugins via SVN, um, Apache web server with PHP. It's a little box, come on. Um, fully featured web end interface, Telnet, um, the SSH server, FTP. Um, easy News. Easy News, the XVID proxy. Shoutcast. Big, big deal. Shoutcast on there. Live and radio. Via the Internet Live radio. 365 proxy. So I think that we, you know, we just dig into it that way. Um, so there's just tons of different things that you can put in there. I honestly don't even knew what, know what I'd be using some of this stuff for yet. But I'll tell you what. I want to play with it and find out. Which is why we did it. You know, it's, it's been fantastic to... I like good hacks. And this has been a, you know... Uh, B Rad has been pretty well received as putting out really nice, well put together hacks. Even his beta stuff has been, um, you know, nice stuff. So, is this one considered beta, this pre release? Um, I would say yes, based off some of the stuff. Um, I don't know that he would say the same thing, but um, there is mention of. Enhancing, there are some features that were noted that were not in there. Let me see if I can go to those features. Um, maybe they're on his website. But um, some things haven't been functional yet. Um, I know that he wants to work on those. So in that case, yes, I have to consider a beta. Um, now we have, um, I'll, I'll re well, maybe I'll wait till we have a screen up so that you can cut it out if you really want to, some of the slowed time. But. Um, should I mention the, the invitation offer yet, or should I wait? Oh, yeah, you can. Might as well. I, I mean, we'll probably cut screen. it out. But. Well, then I'll wait, because I don't want you to cut it out. Um, we've actually, the, our show has uh, extended an offer to be rad for an interview. So um, we'll see whether or not we can get him on. And we can talk about the hack. We can talk about um, all sorts of things. We could talk about paying for hacks. We could talk about, you know, what he does and... You know, all sorts of things. So we're hoping to see if we can get, you know, him on the show. and um, That would be awesome. Um, we always like to people talk to people who uh, make all these great things that we enjoy all possible. So, oh, there it goes. Look at that. Now that is a nice window. That's simple. LX. We really, really did just plug in the, the software and it went. Same kind of warning we saw before. Sure. My out of play stuff could not be accessed. Now, same kind of systems, but look, we've got a different menu screen or a different background, which lets us know we've got lovely hackage. <laughs> uh, let's get out to the main menu. So we've got everything looks about the same. Most of the stuff's a back end. Let's go to the. Um, so one 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 of the other big things that you can do is, like we said, the back end has changed a lot. 
is there's a website enabled, a little local web server, and you can log in and you can do all these cool things. Yeah, this is, a, this is the real power behind this system right now, is we have the ability to get into here, change what we want to change. Like, for instance, if you want to run an NFS server from this, guess what? You click on it, and we're like, okay, start NFS server. Bam. Guess what? I just started an NFS server. Um, now, the details and all the finite and all this good stuff that comes into here, uh, we haven't explored too much, but, you know, this is the... The torrent? <laughs> you know, yeah. Anybody up for our torrent right here? Um, there you go. Um, this is some of the, just the tip of the iceberg of what this hack opened up. Um, your file manager, I want, I want to see what remote does. Do we have a... So you, you can use the remote as a web remote. So if you lose your your real oh, one. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I didn't think about it that way, but you're right. That's absolutely what that is. Um, so this is our functionality that we are unleashed. Yes. You know, this is the power behind the BRAD hack. Now, we're going to be going through some of these things um, in continuing episodes, just like we do. We've shown you the hack. We've shown you how to do the hack. Um, and um, now we're going to go into some of the features in future episodes of why. You know, we have, you know, you know Telnet client, eh, may not use it so much. Could use the FTP server. Could use the NFS shares. We might touch on our torrent. You know, <laughs> we do the torrent here and there. <clears throat> so, this is what we're going to get into in future episodes. But this is... Um, some of the things we unleash. So um, it's a great hack. We, you know, like everybody to get, you know, to, to who has one of these to definitely invest in the hack, get the hack. If you want to wait for it, I'm sure at some point it will um, reveal itself. But um, go to the BRAD website and uh, maybe next week um, we can get BRAD on the show and we can talk about, um, talk about doing the hack and, you know, with the, with the maker. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, Every Wednesday night at 10.30 Mountain Time, uh, we'll be here live doing our show. Monday nights, or Mondays, you'll always see a new show uh, on your, uh, if you have uh, an iTunes, if you're subscribing to the podcast, which we will, you know, automatically deliver to your uh, iTunes account. Uh, so look us up on that, twosmartguys.com. Uh, and you can always check back shows and everything else on twosmartguys.com. Yep. Yep. So, so, see you guys next week. See ya. This has been a Two Smart Guys production. 